Hi everyone, how are you doing? Cool, great. All right, so today we'll see how to generate automation test report in Protector. Yes, uh, in Protector tool we write automation test, we execute them, and uh, we um, and in automation projects we would like to see the status of our test, whether they have passed, they have failed. So at least uh, we need some report so that we can share with the team members and, and to our managers or to some other stakeholders. All right, so today uh, we'll see how to generate automation test report in Protector. So let's get started. First of all, I would like to show this kind of report we are going to generate. So it will be the heading automation regression soup and uh, it will contain different uh, the name of the test, their status, and how much time it has taken for execution, and uh, and this progress bar along with the screenshot. So this kind of report we are going to learn how we can create this kind of automation test report. All right, so let's begin with creation of automation test report. Now, the step one. So the step one is you will need you will need protector jasmine HTML reporter. When I see you will need, which means you have to make use of this package. Um, protector jasmine to html reporter so we will make use of this uh, library which is already there and we'll try to create automation test report so so far um, let me recap what we have discussed so far like we would like to generate automation test report after the execution of our test and i have told you the step one is you will need this library protector jasmine html reporter so now the question comes i need this library but how to make use of it right so it's very simple all right so we will tell protector that okay we need this uh, protector jasmine html reporter so as we know in protector we have two kind of files one is configuration file and the second one is spec file in spec file we write our test and in configuration file we specify our configurations so so let's talk uh, talking about step one again uh, you will need protector jasmine html reporter which means we have to tell protector uh, configuration file that we will require protector jasmine html reporter so we will tell configuration file uh, that uh, we will need uh, protector jasmine html reporter how we are going to uh, tell configuration file we'll see in some time all right and after that the step two is you will have to mention the location where you would like to where you would like to save your file when I say save your file which means save your report all right so that's it I mean you need two steps only you have to use this library protector jasmine HTML reporter and you have to mention on the location where you would like to save your report and again when I say you have to mention which means you have to mention in the configuration file conf.js file of protector alright so conf.js so this is a starting point alright so uh, okay uh, these two steps are needed now we will need this protector jasmine html reporter which means uh, we have to install this library using npm 
so npm is node package manager so in our next session we'll see how we can install uh, protector jasmine html reporter and uh, from there we'll go uh, proceed further all right thank you so much